you have a tendency to do this feminism, these big blanket statements, right? Because it matters. Go ahead. I, I think I think it matters to an extent. There's nothing wrong with, with being a male feminist. No, no, no. There's, there's, there's something wrong if you do not understand what it is that you're and actually that's... fighting. It's systemic. It's built. The system is literally built in patriarchy. Can, can you give me something? And what I am concerned of about is red pill who turn cold, emotionless. <gasps> what up, YouTube? I am your Schmidio Gratorius in Refuse. One more video. Joined today by a very special returning guest. They're accountable every day. See, this is the difference between the red and the blue pill is that you walk, you look out into the world and you see evenness and equalness. And it's I don't not see even. Evening. Don't, don't put, I don't think it's that. not. Well, please don't. I, so, do, I, so, don't, so I don't think that. So you look at the Saweetie culture. You look at the Cardi B culture. You two, we talked about it just a second ago. And we're looking at all of these representations of media. Now, I get that the, the women that you pick within your life have a, uh, a different walk about them. But our culture is our culture and our culture and the, and the men that are in it are the men that are in it. And what you see often is like, there's a whole moniker, men are trash. And women do video after video about all of this shit. Now imagine if I did something about some women is trash shit. So it's understanding that there's a, is an uneven balance. And because of this uneven balance of what media and feminism has pushed, it, it's created very delusional uh, women who think that they can all that city girl bullshit and all that shit and then can actually end up and have uh, a man genuinely um, understand and respect them going into the future as if they're um, the way that they've managed themselves and their body throughout their life will not uh, be put up into consideration for a man. So, and I see that this happened and I see you looking at me and I, you know what I'm talking about. But I don't know, like even conversations like this are still awkward across the internet because uh, men generally don't have these types of conversations. As if you go on some of these women platforms that are just lambasting men all day. I think, I think it matters to an extent. Right. Okay. Giving somebody a perspective and giving people like, oh, I can relate. Like, oh yeah, Cardi B is like that, stuff like that. Yeah. But the problem is not Cardi B and the City Girls. It's the men that are empowering these type of women. Right. That's a, that's a big part of the problem. That's a big. That's but those big. are blue pill men. Take them off. Listen, listen, these are men. Blue pills, white knights, sips. Go ahead, be free. I'm a male feminist. There's Ho holding his sign at the at the picket. No, no, there's not wrong. There's not there's wrong. nothing wrong with, with being a male feminist. No, no, no. There's 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 something wrong if you do not understand what it is that you're and actually fighting and for. And that and that's where we we both agree. Okay, there's something wrong. We don't understand. Listen, what you're doing. When 21 Savage was hold, holding a, I'm a yes, slut. I know. And Rose. <laughs> That's a blue pill man. But look at the product he was supporting. Dog, 21 Savage holding up the I am a slut sign did way worse to his reputation amongst men than it, all of us finding out that he's from London town. Listen, 21 Savage, I don't think any man would question 21 Savage masculinity as far as the, the traits of like, you know. Dog, we've been tricked. I, okay. I, I, I will continue. <laughs> to buy a Birkin bag, a Bentley, or whatever. <laughs> On the third the, date. Or whatever I feel like buying. <laughs> I will call women queens. I will support feminism, but it'll be the right woman. And choose wisely, my friend. Can I just clarify something real quick? Yeah. I support equality of opportunity. I don't support equality of outcome. 
right? So when we talk about feminism. So I just wanted to just clear, 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 clarify that real quick. Get everybody with the credentials the same opportunity all day. But to expect the same outcomes is the component of it that I do not agree with. And I do not also agree with this idea that we live in a patriarchy that women are actively suppressed in. in 2021 in the United States. They are I don't agree with that shit. It's I agree. completely. They are completely suppressed. It's a, right. It's just like. It's Wait, you agree? That, that they're suppressed. That women are suppressed. Yes. Hands down. This is the most liberated. Are you serious? It's systemic. It's built. The system is literally built in patriarchy. Can, can you give me some example? Um, let's talk about RBG. Can we talk about RBG? I don't know what that is. Ruth Bader Ginsburg, the judge. Her sent to me in a Supreme Court justice. And then how different we, it was. We, 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 we can talk about I don't I don't know what this is though. Keep oh. going. So. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm just trying to trying to figure out like where she talked about how was she wanted to become a judge and things like that, the sort of systemic issues she faced, right? Whether all right, the application process when she was pregnant, she was having a child. Well, you're not gonna get this job because you have to have nine months. This was literally said to her, nine months off, you don't can't work during that time period. Um, and we need somebody that can, you know, that can't take off work because of the work that she was doing was so important. Yeah. That's not a systemic issue. That's that's a she's systemic having issue. a she's she's pregnant. You, can, you cannot that's 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 a part of her nature. I mean, Doesn't she's mean having she, a baby. I've seen pregnant, you saw the news Nike commercial, pregnant women who are still working out, still doing. Because she's having a baby does not take away from the work that she does. It won't take away from the productivity. She can have a baby and still work at a high level. And she can take the time off and still work at a high level. There's no, there's no time. There's no, there's no like, oh, if you miss this and this, you're on the, no, no, that's not, that's not true. This has been proven over and over again, that even if you get pregnant, if you take time off, it doesn't stop these companies or these judges or whatever it was a stop dog if the job requires you to be in office because of the importantness of the particular job right. and you Most have to jobs, be out of office unless you are for maternity leave right. then they have to take that into consideration that's not a systemic issue that is a systemic issue you cannot how is that systemic because that's women are part of our society if every job said you take off because of maternity it's gonna take away from everybody can say that no yeah, I, was, I work in the medical field our maternity that's, our job, you, you take off, patients die. No, there's other people that can cover. There's a system. If I call off and sick, right? There's somebody to cover for me, right? That's not accurate. That's not true. Is her job coverable? Yes. How 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 is her job? There's other Supreme Court justices. We've been running around a full Supreme Court justice for for years, without all all benches full, all replacement. They stopped literally Obama's pick to for a judge for almost two years because why political reasons they didn't they didn't they didn't want uh garland uh, okay. to be supreme court right so it this this idea of a woman taking time out for maternity or having to have a child as a negative or it's going to impact the workforce negatively is a systemic problem and it's false because people get sick all the time people call off all the time there's things happen, but there's always somebody to cover. Okay. What you're doing is you're discriminating. So, you're discriminating based off of her natural, um, about, about, based off of her being a female, being a woman. Okay. So, so what did she do? So I'm trying to understand the situation without mm -hmm. knowing the entire situation. Right. So what did she do, um, or was she able to do anything in order to um, seek, like, um, you know, like it's illegal what what, what you're explaining. So what did she do in order to get justice? It wasn't illegal at the time. Okay, well, what year is that? Because I asked you 2021. In 2021. I mean, I, still, I'm, not, I'm not saying, I can't, I think there's still, there's still things that happen like that every day in hiring How hours. I don't know, she's like, she was like That's very important, Sam, uh, Blue Pill Sam, because I because I asked in 2021. I'm not saying that these things haven't I'm existed. saying this, she's, she still will be in our time frame. She just died, so she's still- Listen, if she's I'm 80 saying, years old, I agree with you. There was some bullshit back in there. Shit, I just did right. a, a feminism do documentary in order for all of us as a channel to gain some information and history, but I was asking in 2021. It's not eradicated, what I'm saying. I can't think of something, I just use the age. I know you can't. There's always gonna be a degree of prejudices for anything. Yeah, Whether I it's agree. the color of your skin, the hue of your skin color, you got glasses you love, on, you're whatever. short, you're overweight, you're a man, you're a woman, there's always gonna be prejudices. Right. My, my issue is, is that 
We have a victim mindset culture. And if people continue to leverage components about something that they feel that they are un, uh, not privileged in to promote why they were either not selected for something, why they were not, uh, uh, they were not able to attain something that they're not able to this, this, this that. So, cause on this channel, I love to preach accountability. Like bump your skin color, bump, bump your gender, bump this, but were you the best person for that role? Were you the best person for that job? And I know you bang with this cause you don't make excuses either. To watch the feminism portion of YouTube and to put a post up about the current patriarchy and to have millions of people to co-sign, yeah, it just say, it's just feeding a beast that is hyperbolic in nature. Yes, I agree with you. There's always gonna be some inadequacies. There's always gonna be some inequalities. And if inequalities surface, put a goddamn finger at it. And if it is found out that it's in procedural documents, if it's found out that it's in process, that it's in law, that there's some discrimination, Always point a finger at it and fight for justice. We're not, we're not, I'm not talking about that. But what I'm talking about is this victim culture mindset, which people love to be able to dive into, to unexplain, uh, to not work on themselves, number one, <laughs> to not improve themselves. Oh, they didn't pick me because of that. No, no, there was other people more qualified, per chance, perhaps. Not because of X, Y, Z reason. And that's just my thing. There are people that abuse affirmative action. There are people that abuse feminism mm -hmm. to get over and to not have to do what others have done. Yeah. There are people that abuse being in the military. There's people that abuse a lot of things that were fought for to their own benefit. Yes. That does not mean that you should ever stop fighting we agree. against the prejudices and some of the systemic stuff that is in there. Yes. It is important, like you said, to talk about accountability and taking your role and your responsibility. Yes. But we must not be blind we agree. to the fact that this stuff does it still, it still exists and will continue to exist. But the best way is not to say that person over there is taking advantage and abusing the system. You know how you hold people accountable? Not by not by yelling at them and saying that you are doing something wrong, by being an example and leading. Do you, you being accountable? Like you did when you paid off your your place, right? Mm -hmm. Receipts. Your receipts. Show them the receipts. You had to say nothing to nobody. You didn't say you over there doing nothing wrong. You, you are speaking loudly enough by the way that you carry yourself, right? Yeah. And and this is my biggest thing. When you carry yourself in a way, you don't have to point out. They're gonna feel, the victim's gonna feel the victim. They're gonna understand that all they yelling about feminism and stuff like that, that doesn't really have to do with feminism. It really has to do with you being hurt by somebody or comes from a place of insecurity. You ain't gotta point that out. Everybody's gonna recognize that. Cause when the real comes against the fake, the real is gonna shine every single time. But see, that's not true. Because, it is true. Because it is the true. fake shines as well. If the fake shines, and if they're doing illegal shit, hopefully they get arrested for their shit. You know, there's fraudsters all over the planet that are, that, are, that are millionaires or scammers that live by scamming and will show you their wealth, right? And if they never get caught, then they never get caught. No, that, it's that, it's, that's the blue pill mindset is that, oh, we're all, you know, bunnies and roses and sunshines and the, and the greatness will rise to the top. No, there's some sick savages that shouldn't be alive. And that's just a fact. Listen. There's some sick savages. And so what I'm saying is, is that over here, I'm gonna show you receipts. I'm gonna show you execution. I'm gonna upload a video a day. And I'm still gonna be working my nine to five. And I'm still gonna be working out. And I'm still gonna be living my social life. And I have no excuses for the shit and the time that I put in into this and that. I make no excuses. None. At all. None. You don't make no excuses. None. We don't At make all. Excuses. We don't make excuses over here. We make results. We make outcomes. Yeah. But we live in a victim culture mindset that is willing to proudly say that in 2021, we live in a patriarchy, which is ridiculous. It's absolutely abhorrently ridiculous. I, As if we live in a culture where men actively suppress women. I think, and these college campuses are feeding this bullshit. And then you get women that walk out of here and, and tell me to my face, you can't say female. Oh, well, excuse me? <laughs> I, can, I can't, what? Oh, because you're taking away my liberties as a woman. Uh, I'm sorry. I mean, I didn't mean to. I'm just, I, I, you know. But wait a minute. Let's let's pressure test what that actually means, my lady. Because you know, I'm. I don't mean it in a. And, and it's just like in a degree. No, 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 no. 
you, <laughs> you, will, you will respect my woman. It's just like, what the fuck? Like, where, where, where do all of these trash talking points of pure victimhood come from? I'm not trying to suppress you. I'm not trying to suppress, I'm not trying to disrespect you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but you feel the ne the need to fix my speech, my freedom of speech and my language because all of a sudden you took a college course and now you're offended. <laughs> that was a lot, bro. But it's real. I do believe that okay. it's a lot of that out there. I do believe the best way to be a false argument is to come with the truth. And I do believe that your channel does that. I believe you do that. I appreciate that. I don't feel it necessary to argue with idiots. Someone who's talking about whether well, I should say female or not. I, I don't feel, I don't, that's not my energy. I'm gonna say what I wanna say, because I have the right to say it. They go hard, bro. They do, they do. And I understand sometimes you gotta defend yourself, you feel attacked. Facts. But you gonna get attacked when you're talking the truth, bro. The hate gonna come. Well, here's the thing, bro. Is that- They killed Jesus, bro. They, you, you are going to be crucified for the work you do on this channel. Okay. It's and, and, I'm, and I'm trying not to. I'm, try, I'm trying to be as diplomatic <laughs> you as, as what I possibly can. Um, but what you know what the combat is? It's the decades of propaganda and media that have not told men's sides of the story. No, that is not accurate. Okay, can you name me uh, any male focused content outside of YouTube? Uh, that talks about men's issues, that talks about, talks about men's issues. Men, that gives men a platform. Because I can name you 15 different women focused men, outlets. Men have had a platform through most of the entirety. Kings, what? Like the, the founding fathers of America. Like, what do you mean? What platform are you talking about? There's, a, there's not a platform that exists. You're talking about media that, platforms. That media platform. Besides music, the HBO, TNC, they're all males. They're all created by males. They were all. Action pack movies. How if you look at if you look at the origins of all all that's male? No, that's actually not true. Except it's, for like lifetime, all, maybe in own. No, it's all it, it, it's majority women. Uh, majority men. Uh, name the uh, the outlets: media takeout, Bossip. That's not. Uh, those not. That's those are Madame so, Moselle. Those are just like those not. Those not the reigning New York Times, Washington if Post. You Google the. If you look at like CNN, that talks about male issues. Right? Who is the most marketed to gender on this planet? Women. Why yeah. do you think that that is? Because they consume the most. Okay. Now, now we're getting somewhere. So do you think that uh, it would make more sense to create content, uh, to create to create content for people who consume less than this other gender? Because- Right, but that's the same thing with blacks. They consume more. Say what? A lot of stuff is geared towards like sort of the real house, like why they have certain tinge, little wrapping, your little Sprite. And we're trendsetters. We're also we're high consumers. Yes, we have a trillion. Males dollars are not it. high consumers, and compared to a female. So, so don't you think I'm going to market to so a female? So, don't you think that there's a correlation with men being less consumers and then also creating content for them that yeah. focuses on male issues, male right? Like if you walk up to the average um, uh, man or woman walking on the streets and you say, "Name some male issues." Mm -hmm versus walking up to the average woman on the street and saying, name, or man on the street saying, name some um, women issues. Mm -hmm. Which one of those do you think would be more populated? Women. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that that is? Because males don't, don't, they're not raised to project feelings and emotions or issues. You don't think it has anything to do with? No, it's not some mad conspiracy. If you look at every male, males don't emote. They don't. They don't do that. Well, well, you haven't really started. To, we didn't have emotional rap until Kanye. Men in society, yeah, are raised to not emote or to to have issues to suck it up and put. It, you know, we are raised built to like you don't cry, you don't you don't feel. If, if men had spaces. There is some definite. So, so here's the thing. A lot of what you see on the internet that you say that you don't like about the red pill space is uh, men not having uh, entertainment outlets or educational outlets and then finding it out after they get their heart broke. And what happens is, is that they come on the internet and now they find spaces like YouTube where men can be free and not have um, a media or necessary for dudes in this space to have a media engine behind them to produce mm. content. So now men are 40 years old and they're taking a look at the content. And they're like, 
oh. And some get angry. So that's what you see. So it's not just like this idea that there's just angry men walking across the world who just, we live in this patriarchy and we flex our muscles and we're just so angry at that, that because we're men and we're aggressive. Like that's what the women that don't like this content over here with other gay or their mama, they're, they're and, and they, they mama, is, is his mama black? <laughs> or, or like all of this shit, like they just try to create, oh, he's effeminate because he has issues with like all this other shit. And I'm, and, and I'm saying that to say it is a form of shaming that is being placed on the community of dudes that are coming up to an understanding because there hasn't been, like name a Cosmo for guys. And Cosmo is some toxic ass shit, right? <laughs> but like, so but, but, but in Cosmo dates back to what, the 50s? And to think that Cosmo has not infiltrated, when you think about the women's liberation movement, when you think about the sexual revolution that happened in the 60s, and, and what would in the 50s and the 60s, it, right? Like was media that was dedicated to, to men at the same time, the, the the man has been systematically taken out of the household. So you have these young boys that are growing up watching women who wa read Cosmo. Listen, I think <laughs> what I've learned today, that red pill is an outlet for the mental that has not been addressed in society is a missing element. And I would agree with you okay. that society has focused more on the physical, financial, and dare we say, sexual prowess of men. At men's expense. At men's expense. Yes. I do not think the red pill is the answer to that. I think red pill you think the blue ideology. Pills I do think but blue pill, I think the pills, that's having this conversation. Yeah. Brings to light the mental. I think red pill can lead to anger, bitterness, and you can- Angry. You can, you can literally make everything that you learn to go left and the Disney doesn't make sense to you anymore. The the flowers don't make sense to you anymore. The dates don't make sense for you anymore. Yeah. That can be very dangerous, right? Because relationships do take an amount of giving and loving and understanding. And what I am concerned of about is red pill who turn cold, emotionless, extremely logical, and they again have gone back to men don't have emotions, men don't care and things like that. So you're still feeding into the very thing that you were supposed to bring enlightenment to. You okay. can go red pill rage, as you would call it, and literally you find somebody in a rage who hates and anger and you have just become emotionless again because you were mad because nobody was paying attention to your emotions. But understanding that blue pill allows you to come and get in touch with that emotions to say, okay, I can love someone. Have somebody cheat on me, break up with me, not hate that person, not stigmatize that person, not try to, to demonize that person. Understand that just a person and things happen. And if I choose better, then I'm gonna do better, right? But if the red pill is the only way, because cause, cause you're right, you're right, MCR. I'm never saying this again. You're right. This is why you should watch this channel. There is no other media out there that focuses on men's emotional, mental state. Yes. That's my but, point. Mm -hmm. Don't go red pill. <laughs> well, listen, listen, how about, how about that? So, so, and I appreciate that concession. Who did a concession? You did a concession. You conceded. Look at my face right now, yeah. You you conceded I didn't say that I conceded. there's no male spaces. Oh, you like you like these girls that come up here and don't like the word submit. I didn't say anything. <laughs> That's what I saw what you just did. Uh, so so here's the thing: is that um, I appreciate uh, the understanding that there's no spaces. Um, so here's the thing: is that you say that red pill is not it, and my thing is is that. I agree to a point that the overconsumption mm -hmm. um, can lead down a windy path that is not good. I understand that. So it's like the dudes that are in the space have to be accountable enough within themselves to choose content creators and people to listen to, people to attach to, that there's a positive end goal in mind that leaves them more joyous, more happy, more this, more that. And listen, at the end of the day, 
there's such a wide degree and variance of human beings of wants what they don't want. And there's some men that's just gonna do better single. There's just some men that I would think it's a far subset. There's also some men that wish they can go back to being a completely blue pill. And I think that is the larger subset. They wanna go back to feeling like women are sugar, spice, and everything nice, and not that women are can be just as savage, right? Like, or well, the things that their mother taught them is not actually how you attract a woman, but the things that, the, that, that your mother taught you is things that she wanted her significant other to have. I think that it's incumbent on men mm -hmm. to self-select in the content that will push them into the future. Mm -hmm. I think that it's incumbent on us. So I agree to your point that it could be a negative outcome. However, the question then is, well, then what is the solution? So I think syndicated media is going to take a look at this space and it'll probably take about a year or something like that. And they're going to say, oh, you there is some money to make in this particular space. The new Oprah. Now, the males. Now, how do we create a male? You know, and there's actually some talent that's in the space that I think that can absolutely take on that moniker. You know what I'm saying? But here's the thing is that I hope that uh, the talent either in this space doesn't accept, right? Because at that point, like, I, you know, I listen to like Joe Rogan's podcast and, and, mm -hmm. and oh, I used to before he went to like Spotify and, but anyway, I used to listen to his shit. And one of the things he always used to talk about is that he hated uh, when he was an actor because of like the small box, the small finite box that they would have to place him into of things that they could say, the things that can actually air, da da da. Uh, or like on the man show and stuff like that versus on his podcast, he could talk about whatever, however, however it needs to be said in the most textured uh, version of the word, right? So like, I think that even when syndicated media gets in here, hopefully they will fail. I think this is needed. And the more lives, the more countries, and the more places this goes, the better. And the more media gets behind it, the better. And basically, whether you're red pill or blue pill, whatever the spectrum you fall on, the basic thing is you came here to see something that you're not getting somewhere else. And that's what we're here to bring. And I think that's where we can agree upon. Now, let's hold back to the Quavo and Sweetie. Listen, choose properly or you can go red pill. Don't choose, don't, don't, don't do any of it. Don't do any of the Bentleys, the Berkey, don't do nothing, don't do nothing. And see what the outcome is, right? If you don't spend on your girl, you don't, you don't, you don't provide, maybe, maybe you, maybe you do get, maybe she just falls in love for you. Maybe she just goes to someplace else where somebody else is providing. I don't know. Dog, Red Pill is not about not providing. I know, I just wanted to say that. Why do you just say things that just don't make sense? <laughs> Why? Because, 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 Why? They have nothing to do with not providing. I feel like they really hate on me when I spend too much on the day. Jesus Christ, this should have been a live stream. It should have been. <laughs> should have been. <laughs> Blue Pill Sam in the building. Reporting for duty. Blue Pill Sam in the building. Simple Life, The Simpsons. Hey. Yes, Mr. Yes. Mr. 250 on the first day. You should throw it in the bag. Regardless if she's had 500 bodies, was it? Listen, whatever. <laughs> Listen, shout out to Lori Harvey. She's on my wish list. Oh, wow. Michael B. Jordan, new king. Russell Wilson used to have the title. Michael B. Jordan is up next. We'll see where he takes it. Anyway, until we go to another time. It's always a pleasure, bro. Thank you for having me on the platform. Appreciate you, bro. I Big appreciate facts. you 100%. Listen, we got to do this at some other occasion, at some other time. I think we were about to go down to the Discord server right now. Definitely. To go talk to the people. Discord, get on that so you can talk to them. You can have a feedback. Yeah. You can join my inner circle. You know what I'm saying? Um, Patreon link down in the description box down below to give you access to my Discord. And um, we going out in there. We have private conversations, you know, group conversations. And it's your opportunity to get closer to not only the community, but myself, excuse me, as Just well. Just to get closer. Okay, that so is. Last but not least. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Hoodies in stock. Hoodies in stock. Link down in the description box down below. Goku is To go pick up yours. Because it's all right? about being loved. Goku happens. Bro, one more time. Mm. Appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? I had to wear the red hoodie on your ass. Questions, comments, concerns. Y'all already know what to do. Mediocre tutorials and reviews at gmail.com. Links to everything that I was talking about down in the description box down below. Blue Pill Sam, we gotta have you back at a later date. All right, my G. That's what we gotta talk about. I think you're, I think you're, I think you're crimson pill.
You Listen, know what I'm saying? Whatever you're like conversions a, you are. You're like a deep magenta pale. I am now. just not red. And I refuse to believe in your dogma and your degrading of women and your whole entire concepts. Throw it out the window. You trolling. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time, YouTube. Thank <laughs> you.